welcome back to our youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thanks for always coming back my name is janet Sesele, and i won't be doing today's video alone i'm here with a very great man who has impacted the lives of many young people across nigeria we're going to be asking him a few questions which i believe will help your life in no small way welcome with me mr fermi Apata. You're welcome, sir. Thanks for having me around. Yes, sir. So, like I said, Mr. Femi Apata is an entrepreneur, you know, social development person. He has impacted the lives of so many young people. So, I would like you guys to hear from him directly. So, sir, can you introduce yourself to our audience? Well, thank you so much for having me around. My name is Femi Apata. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a teacher, life coach, and um, I'm also uh, a proprietor have a school. Nice, amazing. Yes, so if you've been wondering who owns the rock TikTok that you've been seeing online on YouTube, across our social media platform, yeah, you have him, Mr. Femi Apata. Once again, you're welcome. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to go straight to the questions I have here. Yes, Mr. Femi, um, we'd like to know how your journey has been in life. You know, the same room was not good to the day. So we'd like you to inspire our young people out there who might be watching this video, who see the work and admire the great work that you're doing. So we want you to tell us what your journey has been like. What has your journey to success been like? Well, um, the journey to success is not as smooth. I thank God for, for, for the parents I have. I thank God for the doggedness, you know, the zeal in me to always try. Um, I remember vivid 1994, I lost my mother. And, um, you know, since then it has been, you know, the road has been quite rough. But I thank God because I know that uh, we got on our side, all things are possible. Mm -hmm. So um, I remember vividly when I wanted to start business and I told one of my hands, I, I asked her, I said, Ma, you know, it was a time when the MTN line was brought to Nigeria. Mm. So she asked me, said, Femi, what do you want? And I said, I started telling her a lot of things. She said, ah, sorry, what do you need? Mm. That was when I actually knew the difference between what you want and what you need. Mm. You know, the need are actually the basic things that you need to survive. Mm. So I told her, I said, it's better to actually have something that can fetch me income. So I decided, I said, Ma, I won't mind if I can get an uh, MTN line mm. and an answer. You know, that, that time there was a Nokia and printing yeah. and the likes, you know. So, you know, she actually gave it to me, mm. you know, the Nokia and 310 and MTN line. Wow. And, you know, I now started thinking, okay, where will I start from? Mm. Where will, am I going to get a shop? How will I start a business? Mm. Then I remember vividly that I have someone who is a barber, who babs for people, and a lot of people do come around mm. to bath their hair. I said, come, this is a place to start. You know, and I'm using this opportunity to tell people that, you know, we always find a way to start a business. There's no excuse. Yes. So I actually told the, the guy's name is OJ. I know I said, car, a book. I would like to start business mm -hmm. and I want to be making calls for the customers. Mm -hmm. I want to be selling the chat cards for them. Mm -hmm. And that's how I started. Mm -hmm. The guy allowed me. You know, I can't forget it. Mm -hmm. So when we started, you know, my play like play, we just started. Mm -hmm. And I started making income. Mm -hmm. But you know, there is no success without challenge. And it was the time I got admission to X2 after my NC program to X2. And it was that time they actually installed masks. You know, the MTN just newly came into town and I felt this is an opportunity. The answer that I've been using in Ibadan, why can't I, you know, turn into business here? Yeah. And that time, the, the lines were not really much. People queued to even make calls and they like, that's how I started. Wow. Then I brought my phone, then we started the business gradually. Mm -hmm. For my sister, you know, we got to a time. You know, we started making money and I just went to meet someone. Before I knew what happened, there was a gunshot. Hmm. Ah, what happened? When I came out, I discovered that my friend that was in charge of the phone, 
they collected the handsets oh. and uh, the line. And that time, the MTN line, I bought it for 13,000 euros. Look at I did it and I bought it for like almost 50k. Mm. Ah, my well, sister, I cried. Oh. It was painful. Mm. You know, it was uh, all these cultists. Mm. They came around, they pretended as if they wanted to make calls. Mm. And uh, when they collected the phone, before you knew what happened, they just, one of them just shot the gun and before, they, they ran. I, I ran after them. Mm. You know, it was the next to back then. I didn't know that they took the Morocco side. Me, I ran through the gate side, two mm. gates. So, but before I knew what happened, they caught. Mm -hmm. And it was the time we normally load booster cards so that people can call at the cheaper rate. Mm -hmm. I loaded booster at 4,000 euros, the chart card of more than 30 Yeah, and it was big phone. money there. It was big money yeah. there. I started rolling on the floor. Oh. But, you know, I, I just decided to still go on. But it wasn't mm -hmm. like that again mm -hmm. because the collected phones and the like my capital mm -hmm. was gone. So, then it wasn't easy for me. Then I told the friend, I said, come, what will I do with it? Mm -hmm. I said, there's, there's someone who knows. I normally travel to Togo to get a uh, paper. So that was how I entered. You know, I've done a lot of businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to Togo, brought sandals, brought shoes. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got to know one or two lecturers mm -hmm. back then because I bring the sandals and I, I sell it to them and mm -hmm. I make my money. Then gradually, gradually, I discovered that traveling to Togo is risk of life. Traveling to Ghana ah, to get shoes. What will I do? Then we started tutorials. Mm. That's how we started tutorials back then. We discovered that some of these students will come for post TME. Then post TME, and the inspiration actually came like this. My brother went to write post TME in effect. When he wrote the post TME in effect, you know, he brought their past questions. And I was just checking at home. I discovered that, ah, this is a past question that if I did, I can also do it for X. Mm. You understand? Mm. And somebody said, uh, when you are looking for money, you just consider three H. You understand? Your house, your head, and your heart. Mm. You understand? Guys, don't forget uh, that. So your house, your, your head, head, and your heart. Your mm. head, your house, and your heart. Because in your head lies an idea. Mm. You understand? Wow. Facebook actually came into because somebody thought of an idea. Yeah. You know, the camera that is covering us now is actually True. an idea in True. someone's mind. You know? So your head lies an idea, an idea rules the world, mm. really. True. Then your ass, you know, whatever your ass conceive, your mind conceive, you know, you can achieve mm. it. You know, and from the from your heart, you know, so you can generate a whole lot of things. You can decide to think, what are those things you are thinking about in your heart? Mm. Are you thinking about maybe to start um, maybe taking care of young ones? or you want to start scratch, or you want to do this, is you first conceive it in your heart. That is it. Then your hand as well, which is a H, your hand, your what people will say, Atele Weni Kitoni Je. This is going to say that again. I'm not your Weni Kitoni Je. That is whatever you do with your hands, you can't be deceived oh, with it. Yeah. Because it is your hand. Yeah. I remember vividly when nobody could sponsor my sister. It was the beat she was doing with her hands wow. that fetched her income, and she finished her master's, you know, Things are working. Mm. You see some people, they can babble this here and they are making millions of naira. Mm. Some are even flattening it. They can flat here for people and they make money. Mm. Yes, your hand, very important. Your money is there. Then your house. Your house, one of the things, there are some things you hear, maybe from the radio, or you see, like what I said, I saw past questions of who you in my brother's wardrobe. Then it struck my heart that, no, I can package if it's State University's past questions like this. You know, I saw it from my house. Before I knew what happened, I produced it, then money started coming. I felt okay. If we can do these things, then it can work. Then we started tutorials on campus back then. And because we could not have money to rent an apartment, we decided to use one of the LT, the lecture theaters. Then that's how we started, we started growing. Before we know what happened, you know, we saved the money, mm -hmm. then we started in town. Mm -hmm. We brought the whatever we have saved, we started in town. So that's how we grew. And from tutorials, yeah. then we started. Uh, the school and to the glory of God because of the result, our results speaks, people started patronizing us. Wow, that's amazing. You know, your, your story and your journey is so inspiring. Like, you had so many reasons to have given up on yourself. I mean, when you lost your mom and all that, but you still kept on fishing. So, to you guys watching out there, don't give up on yourself. No matter what life throws at you, keep pushing. So, um, what year did the work actually start, like the tutorial? Yeah, well, the tutorial started back then on campus. 
you know, but you know, we, we got an apartment in town to, to actually start it officially. Mm. 2012. 2012. 2012. Yeah, wow. 2012. We started 2012. And uh, from there, we started the secondary school in 2016. Yes, and so um, what three success habits did you say to young people watching us? Well, um, number one, you put God first in everything you do. You know, God actually knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb. So it is important we reference him in all we do. Said ask and it shall be given, not the God will seek and it shall find. Yeah. You, know? you know, these are the promises of God for our lives and yeah. it can never fail. So put God first. Trust God with the whole of your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding and it will direct your path. And one thing about God is there's no way you can direct your path and uh, it will lead you into destruction. It's not possible. So my best advice for you right now is to put God first in everything you do. Trust him with the whole of your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Very important. The second you need to be focused. Uh, you need to be focused. There's no way you can, you can do many things at the same time. Be focused. Be focused. Be focused. And um, it is very important. When you are focused, do one thing at a time. You are reading at the same time. You are on WhatsApp. You are on Instagram. You are on social media platforms. There is no way you can read effectively. So you need to be focused. It is the focus we have that's actually sustained our business to this present moment. So because we are focused, we are consistent, and that's why we continue to grow in life. Then um, lastly, work on your mindset. Very important. You need your mindset must be positive. Forget about. Don't be pessimistic. You know. Your mindset must be positive. You think positively, you, you act positively. And by the time you think positively and act positively, there is no way you won't generate a positive result. So it is very important. Number one, put God first. Number two, the focus. And number three, have the positive mind. Thank you so much, Dr. Yeah. Dad. And my final question. Um, I know the work is now becoming a household name here in Abuja. And by God's grace in Nigeria and the whole and all over the world. So, sir, what, where do you see the work in the next five to ten years? Um, well, in the next five to ten years, we won't just be making a local impact, mm. we'll be making global impact by the grace of God. You know, we, we refuse to be local champions. Mm. You understand? So, yeah. we continue to make the impact, and um, by the special grace of God, our, our prince you know, will be global. Mm, amazing. So any final words for many young people who have been looking up to you, they want to be like you, they love what you do. So any final advice for people watching us? All right, I've said it the other time. Apart from being focused, being dedicated, and at the same time, putting God first in all you do, be very careful of the friends you move with. Any friends you move with that is not adding value to your life, you know, by the wisdom that God has given to you, push the person aside. Because if the person you have as a friend is not pushing you forward, automatically the person will be dragging you down. Mm -hmm. So watch out for the kinds of friends you meet. Thank and a lot of my dear. Thank you so much. And before we go, Mr. Femi Apata actually has two books authored by him. I'm going to be showing you guys the both books. This is Success Catalyst, The Achievers Manifesto. It contains proven nuggets for extraordinary living. So if you want to live an extraordinary life, you should get this book. Now, the second book is titled The Rich Life. It's a simple guide to starting and sustaining a successful business. You know, the best person to learn from is from people who are already doing something. And Mr. Femi Apata has proven to be a successful businessman, so you should get his book. So with this, we come to the end of our video for today. I would like to say a very big thank you to you for stopping by, for staying till this time. Do well to like, share this video with as many people as possible, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So we see you again. I still remain doing it, and for me and for Mr. Fermi, bye.